Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Reaction Therapy. I'm Tom Stevens, your resident psychotherapist, here to break down lyrics to some awesome music, and it's going to be a good one today. I'm not going to tell you what, because you don't know. It's Mystery Week. That's right. All week long, these songs are a mystery. You do not know what you're about to watch until I hit that button, and I'm so pumped about it. This is so much fun. Thank you, everybody, for being a part of our Reaction Therapy family. Nick and I are having a blast. We love you for being a part of this, for going on this journey with us. Please like, please subscribe, please pass this on to your friends so we can share the love, share the information. I am a psychotherapist who loves to break down lyrics to songs, but I love hearing your insight. So thank you for giving me your insight, and thank you for trusting us this week during Mystery Week because we have some crazy good songs coming out just like the one right now are y'all ready like you seem like you're ready so without further ado let me push the button and show you what today's mystery song is gonna be it's none other than mac miller and good news let's do it i want it like that like double time mm -hmm. so like 140 so 140 Come on, guys. This is cool. I am so impressed with some of these intros and some of the music that leads into the music because it really just gets me in the mood, especially because I've never heard this before and I'm just not knowing what's coming next. But what I'm hearing is like this kind of gets me in the mood with that beat. I spent the whole day in my head Do a little spring cleaning hmm. I'm always too busy dreaming Maybe I should wake up instead. <laughs> the whole idea of spring cleaning in your head. Do you ever think about that? He has got a good point here, y'all, for mental health. There's time to do spring cleaning and there's time to do, I guess, fall cleaning. But to be able to take a time and say, you know what, I'm going to clear out. Maybe I've been daydreaming too much or dreaming, actually, as he said, too much. And sometimes you do need to clear out your head. Like I need to quit thinking the way I've been thinking. I need to quit, you know, uh, especially when dreaming is a negative. Dreaming can be a positive. I love dreaming. And I dreamt of, of doing this on YouTube. And it was just a fun experiment for me and my son. We gave it 100%, did our best, and we have dreams. We still have, I have more dreams that are even bigger than December when we started this. But you have to be able to dream. These Sometimes these dreams can be toxic though. The dreams of having something you can't, having somebody you can't, uh, other people that have better situations than you, and it kind of toxically feeds your head. But sometimes you need to clear out, clear out, clear out that head. Well, maybe I should wake up instead. A lot of things I regret, but I just say I forget. Why can't it mm. just be easy? Why does everybody need me to stay? Oh, I hate the feeling When you hide but you underneath the ceiling Got the cards in my hand, I hate telling <laughs> Yeah Get everything I need and I'm gone but Got the cards in my hand but I hate dealing <laughs> it's, You know, just dealing cards and then dealing with life, you know, the whole concept. Some of y'all might say, man, he's finally, this middle-aged white guy is finally picking up on some things. It's not easy, y'all. It's not easy, but I'm doing the best that I can. And I'm trying to learn from hearing this. And, and the song is, I love the rhythm of the song. Get everything I need and I'm gone. But it ain't stealing. Can I get a break? I wish that I could just... I'm a goddamn white. What is it to say? There ain't a better time than today. Or maybe I'll lay down for a little. Instead of always trying to figure everything out. <laughs> it 
it's so fun watching this and watching him. It's like such a fun side. I don't know who he's been. So I'm just kind of learning, just watching this and the humorous kind of behind the scenes side. But do you ever feel like you can't get out of your own way? You know, the choices you make, the things you decide to do. If you're trying to get in a hurry, it only takes that much longer. If you're trying to, you know, kind of scoot around different cars on the road, more just step in front of you and hit their brakes and slow down. If you're trying to rush out of the house, you trip and you hit your knee on something. You know, if you, you're trying to get everything and go, you forget your wallet at home or something. Sometimes it's just hard to get out of your own way. And for him, it's like he just wants to get up and go. And it's maybe not always easy, but these lyrics are really good. I lay down for a little Instead of always trying to figure everything out Yep. And all I do is say sorry Half the time I don't even know what I'm saying it about this, this is reminds me of my old days, y'all. I go back to the original Atari 2600 game system, okay? That was back in the original days. Actual original video game was Pong, which was Telstar that I had in my house. So I can go back and talk old school video games, but this reminds me of the Atari. And he's just talking about going back. And here comes the good news. Like, but it's him driving trying to stay out of the way and to actually kind of shoot these things, I think. Sorry. sorry. Half the time I don't even know what I'm saying it about. Yep. Good news, good news, good news. That's all they want to hear. No, they don't like you when I'm down. But when I'm flying, no, it make them so uncomfortable, so different. It's like people just want to hear good news, right? They don't want to hear reality. Have you ever gone into the store? And I've done this before, believe it or not. You know, you go up to the cashier at a store or somewhere and they're like, how you doing? You're used to saying, good, how are you? Good, that kind of thing. But if you ever go up to one and, and I've said this and it was honest, but she was like, how are you doing today? I'm like, it's not been such a good day, actually. She stared at me didn't know what to say and just kept checking out the items <laughs> because she didn't know what to say. We're just not used to the honesty there. And that's, I feel like that's what he's saying. Everybody wants good news. They don't want to really hear what, what I feel or, or what I'm going through or what it's like. And you know, I'm still going through life and some of it sucks, but I thought good news was going to be like happy upbeat. It sounds like he's saying that's all people want. What's the difference? What did he say to set it on fire? <laughs> gotta build something beautiful just to go set it on fire. And he's sitting there just playing like chilling. But I hadn't heard that before. I've got to go build something beautiful just to set it on fire. That's like just destroying something that could be really good, i.e. in life. You could build a beautiful relationship just to blow it up. You could get a really good job just to lose it. And remember that. These are really good words to, to think about that sometimes I can't get out of my own way and sometimes I'm my own worst enemy and sometimes I self-sabotage. That's what that is. I am sabotaging my own life. And when you sabotage your own life, it, it looks like everything's just falling apart for you, but really you're setting it up that way. And sometimes it happens in relationships. If you ever have a rebound relationship, there's a lot of sabotage there because the reason the next relationship doesn't go out, doesn't go well, is because you're bringing all the garbage from the old one, putting it into the new one, and that person doesn't deserve it. And you're not actually ready to have a relationship with a new person because you're still in it with the old one. Long story, that's another day for another therapy. But sometimes we build something beautiful just to burn it up. No lie, but sometimes the truth don't sound like the truth. Maybe because it ain't. 
This not a beautiful scenery here, but good news. It's all they want to hear. They don't like it when I'm down. And that could be your friends. That could be your family. That could be a relationship. That could be in your job. That could be anywhere, but just life in general that sometimes people just want to hear good news. How you doing? Good. You don't want to hear how you doing? Not so good. Because if you said that to me, I'd be like, well, talk to me about it. Tell me about it. Like what's going on? Even if I had five minutes, I would say that because... I might still have to go and I might have things to do, but I at least want to hear that because that's important. And sometimes it's good with other people. You ask them how they're doing. Are you really? Like, if they don't look good, then you don't have to say you don't look good. <laughs> you can say, it just seems like you're a little down or I just noticed, you know, your head hanging or it just seems, you just seem a little stressed just from the look on your face. I didn't know, just checking in. Check-ins are always good. A little therapy tip. No, they don't like you when I'm down But when I'm flying, no, oh, it make them so uncomfortable So different What's the difference? There's a whole lot more for me Waiting on the other side I'm always wondering if It feel like summer I know maybe I'm too late I could what is when he says there's that's an actual person there in that cloud it looks like what is it when he says there's a whole lot more waiting for me on the other side i'm not sure what he's talking about if he's talking about like his life being over if he's talking about getting over the sadness and depression that he might have, you know, and that he'll feel good on the other side. I'd be very curious y'all's thoughts on that. I'll finally discover This song is very mellow, like it's very easy to the ears to listen to for me. Like I, I would not probably go running or jogging with it. That's what I do is jog. I would sit and chill with it though. And this is a relaxing melody, this back and forth melody. It's almost like bilateral stimulation I talk about with, with anxiety and stress and trauma, right? It just kind of settles everything really, really cool. So I feel like he's talking about the other side. I feel like he's trying to talk about healing but uh, I'm not sure where he's going with it. A lot of good music with his songs. Like this is really good music. Like just a steady rhythm. It's got all the instruments in it and you can just sit and listen and enjoy.
it's like he's walking out of a shuttle or something out of the plane like out of a window and just walking off but he seems so happy just looking at his picture here so i'm not sure if this is like the end of the song and he's just kind of walking off into the distance of clouds Oh, cool. My goodness awesome awesome song and ending i really like mac miller like just looking at him there and seeing his smile and seeing him dance around and seeing him do the piano stuff there that really endears me to him i really do like him and i've got to get more of him on this show because that was really good i want to hear more about him if y'all can tell me just who he is what his story is and i know we've talked about it before but I feel like I do so many of these different reactions. I don't get to hear enough and soak in enough about them unless I've seen more and more music. And I'm trying, y'all, very hard not to go listen to a bunch of different music by these people because then it won't be a first reaction. And so I'm really trying just to listen to the things I've already actually reacted to. Please give me your feedback. Give me your insight. Like, subscribe, please. Pass this on to your friend. Share this with someone else. Remember, this is not real therapy. This is just Tom talking about the lyrics and breaking them down. If you want real help, real mental health and mental health therapy, please go to the link in our bio. That is the best place to start. Some good resources there. Some of them free because you deserve that help. Everybody does. And I wanted to give a shout out also to Eisen. I-Z-A-N. If you go on Spotify and you search him up. We should put that in our community page now that he's made a Spotify list for all of the reactions we've done so far. Thank you so much for doing that. Eisen, I appreciate it very much. And it means a lot to me because I listen to that playlist every day. It's all the songs we've done. And it reminds me of you and me spending time together, y'all, our whole Reaction Therapy family. Thanks so much. Appreciate the Mac Miller fans. Give me your insight and feedback. Everybody else, thank you for being a part of this channel. And I cannot wait for the next mystery song coming up very soon. Thanks so much. And I'll see you on the next Reaction Therapy.